Okay, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions. Notice it says part one. The reason it says that is because we're just dealing with fractions that look like this, not mixed numbers in this video. In the next part two, then you'll, we'll talk about um, mixed numbers. So let's look at negative one third plus five ninths. The first thing I, want, thing I want to notice is look at the denominators. They are different. So we know we have to find a common denominator before we can add these. What I'm going to do is rewrite these vertically. And then I'm going to get myself ready to set up um, to make equivalent fractions using the same denominator. Um, so if I look at the multiples of three, I have three, six, nine. Um, and nine, obviously, I mentioned. So three, a nine is a multiple of three, right? So if three fits into nine, we already know we have um, our least common denominator. So we're going to use 9. Um, and again, if we were to write this out, we would have 3, 6, 9 as the multiples, and then 9 as the multiples of 9. And you just circle that, and you know you can come up with... Most people can just do this in their head at this point. So uh, 5 ninths is equal to 5 ninths. We don't have to do anything there. But if we look at the first fraction, we're going to have to take that 3 and multiply it by 3. And then we have to do the same thing on the top, and on the top we get negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So now we have negative 3 on the top plus 5 all over our denominator of 9. And what we get is different signs, so we're going to subtract and we get 2 over 9 as our final answer. So pretty straightforward, not too complicated. I'm going to show you another example, and uh, we'll practice it one more time. 2 thirds minus 3 eighths. So let's say we're going to rewrite this vertically again. Minus 3 over 8. I'm going to set up our equivalent fractions because we see right away they're two different denominators, so we have to make them the same. And if we look at 3 and we look at 8, um, we know that 3, the multiples of 3, if we were to write them out, I don't know if you can see that, but the multiples of 3, let's put them over here, would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and there it is, 24. So um, what about the multiples of 8? 8 would be 8, 16, and 24. So we see the common denominator is 24. Now, sometimes you can just multiply those two numbers and get that um, answer pretty quickly, but uh, it's best to know those multiples in your head. Okay, so what do we do if we want to find an equivalent fraction? Well, to go from 8 to 24, we had to multiply by 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So that's what we have. Um, 3 over 8 is equi equivalent to 9 over 24. And then on the top, we have 2 over 3. And to go from 3 to 24, we had to multiply by 8. And we do that on top and bottom. And we get 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So now we have 16 minus 9 all over 24. And 16 minus 9 is 7 over 24. And that's our final answer there. Okay, I'm going to do one more problem. Um, and again, we're going to deal with this, but we're going to look at our denominators as being different, so we have to fix that. But also now we have three fractions, and we have to think about PEMDAS here. What we're going to do is we're going to solve these two first, right? These are our parentheses, and then we're going to add in the 10 twelfths. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the entire thing vertically, minus 1 over 2, plus 10 over 2. 12. I'm going to find equivalent fractions, something they all fit into, and I see a 4 and a 2. I know 2 fits into 4, that's good, and I also know 4 fits into 12. So I can use 12 as our common denominator because 2 also fits into 12, right? So 12 is our common denominator. That means, oops, let's fix that. That means this, no, this fraction down here doesn't have to change at all. Um, and the 1 half, I know to go from a 2 to a 12, we had to multiply by 6. 
and we'll have to do the same on the top. So we have six on the top. And um, to go from a four to a 12, we had to multiply by three, and we'd have to do the same on top to get an equivalent fraction. Really, really important. Whatever you're doing on the bottom, you have to do to the top. So what do we have here? We said we were gonna take care of our first two fractions. Our first two fractions are 3 twelfths minus, remember, minus 6 over 12. So we have 3 minus 6 over 12. What do we get here is a negative 3 over 12. If you remember your rules, you know why. It's different, it's keep change opposite here, right? And then you're going to have different signs and you're going to subtract. You get negative 3 over 12. Um, and we don't want to reduce it yet because we're still not done. We have to take now negative 3 over 12, and we're going to add, because that's what the problem said to do, 10 out of 12. So now we have different signs. We're going to subtract, and we get a 7 over 12. And that is our final answer. And I would suggest that you replay this video to slow it down for yourself and um, practice.